wrist, looking like it been dipped. Dipping that, dipping that, dipping that. Script, looking like it been flipped. Flipping that, flipping that, flipping that. Pull up in that for my car. Whole squad getting that, getting that. Please say it ain't true. I think going cop too. Hell no, we can't fit in that. Wild ones, like we fresh out the cage. Showtime, baby. Fresh off the stage. Bad little mama, fresh off the page. Front like you love, but you know that you hate it. Yeah, you know no better. Hey fairy aids and welcome back to my channel long time no see so I am here to give you guys the wig tutorial that I told you guys I was going to give you today so I'm just taking the wig um they pretty much just sent me like a generic wig it is a 14 inch wig but it doesn't matter because I'm going to cut it and style it and everything anyway so um so I just took the wig and I turned it inside out and I'm just bleaching the knots on the wig you guys do have that option of having your knots bleached if you want to do it yourself or if you don't know how to do it or just don't feel like doing it you can just order this wig and have um, them bleach the knots for you so that's just what I'm doing right here and I'm just putting it all on the lace So now I'm just going ahead and dyeing the hair jet black. I just really wanted this hair to be super black. It is a natural 1B color, but I wanted it to be like super, super duper black. So this is just a trick to make sure that you do not get any of the dye onto your lace is by putting conditioner on your lace. So I just flipped the wig inside out again. Um, I did wash the wig when I took out the bleach. I just did it with conditioner and neutralizing shampoo. So I let it air dry and then I flip it upside down or inside out and I put conditioner on the lace and then I'll just be flipping it back again and then putting on the dye all throughout the hair and especially on the roots of the lace because I did bleach a little bit of the roots but it doesn't matter because I was going in and dyeing it anyway. Then I just let the dye sit for about 30 minutes and then I just rinsed it out and then put on some color conditioner. Let that sit for about 10 minutes and then now I'm just blow drying the hair straight. And then same thing that goes with bleaching the knots, you guys are able to get the hair jet black um, or a number two or number four. But like I said, if you guys already know how to do this step, you don't have to get that order with the wig. But if you guys don't know how to do this step, then you are able to order that and then the company will do that for you. So once the hair is blow dry straight, I'm just going to be going in with my um, flat iron. It doesn't have to be super perfect, like you don't really have to do section by section. I just did big sections because I just needed the ends to be pretty straight because I was cutting the hair. I just wanted to make sure the ends were straight so that I knew that my cut was nice and clean. Now, if you guys didn't know, I named my wig Tiffany, and Tiffany gave me such a hard time. So I basically, um, if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat or social media, you guys should. And if you do follow me, you know that this has been like a three day process trying to get this wig right, y'all. Like it took me three days and three tries to get this wig right. But 
three times the charm. Like I am not upset or stressing it, but basically disregard this whole cut right here. So at first I wanted to do like an angle cut, but then when I was done with it, I just felt like it just wasn't enough for me. Like I just knew that I wanted my first wig to be a cut, but I didn't know what kind of cut I wanted. So I first played it safe and did a angled cut. Now, granted, if you guys like this cut, you could just stop right here. <laughs> You could just stop right here and not even watch the rest of the tutorial because literally I feel like I gave you guys like two styles and one in this video. So this is basically what the hair looked when I did the angled cut. Um, I felt like it was cute, it was cool, but I just wanted to do a little bit more. So then I went ahead and cut the one side a little bit shorter so that it was more of an asymmetrical bob instead of a long angled bob. So I just did that with the one side and I flat ironed it and then cut the sides. So basically that's a second hairstyle in one. And then when I had my asymmetrical cut down, I went in with my wand curler. So you guys already know I love putting you on to things that I discovered that is affordable and cheap. So this is actually a part of a five in one interchangeable barrel set that I got from Amazon. The set was only $36.99. Yes, I repeat $36.99 for a Termaline ceramic um, barrels. Um, Termaline usually can be a little bit more on the expensive side. So the fact that I just got a five in one for $36 is an absolute steal. You already know I am linking that in the description box below of the link of where I got it It's called Extava X-T-A-V-A and it's a five-in-one interchangeable barrel set so basically I use the biggest barrel and that's how I achieve the waves that I have. So, so this is not how my wig looks right now. So basically when I went ahead and was curling this, I only left it on for about five seconds and I just did the whole entire head. And I just felt like I was still missing something. Like I still felt like I just was not achieving what I was going for. So at nighttime, which I did not film, I don't know why I didn't, I just went ahead and I layered the hair and that's how it formed these layered cut waves. I love it. So all I did was just keep the same cut as far as the asymmetrical cut and I just went ahead and I layered it and that's how it became like a layered shaggy bob. Um, it's actually called a shaggy bob in hairstylist world. So that's what I was going for and I finally achieved it on the third try, yay. So I'm not showing you guys my nails. I'm actually showing you guys that this is the only thing you need as far as getting those super loose soft waves so i curled the hair i sprayed my got to be free spray and then i went ahead and raked it with my fingers and this is the result of the wig i love the wig who would have ever thought that my favorite wig would be the one that i created right So the hairline was already pre-plucked when I got it, but I just wanted it to be a little bit more plucked because I wanted it to be on the most natural side that I could possibly get it so that it would blend in with my hair because I wanted this to be mistake proof. Like the bleach knots, like the dyed hair, you are able to get pre-plucked, um, a pre-plucked hairline for checkout as well. But as I said, I will leave everything in the description box as far as anything you guys need to know as far as the details of the wig, the um, interchangeable barrel that I got from Amazon, everything will be left below. So I just used the cap that came with the wig set. RPG Show always comes with a two caps that is usually like um, a skin tone, but I'm going to go ahead and with some foundation. I will show that later on. So I never showed you guys what the inside of the wig looks like. It's just like literally a generic wig. It has two combs at the top, one comb at the back, and then you also get um, adjustable straps inside of the back of the wig. And then you also have that option of sewing down um, an elastic band. I decided to go ahead and use my got to be gel because I finally mastered that. But you will basically sew the elastic band to the circumference of your head on both ends of the hair. And I'm showing you guys where you exactly sew it. So I'm just putting the wig on, just seeing what it looks like on my head. So do not worry about that wig cap showing. I will show you guys how to cover it. But I just wanted to see what it looked like when I put it on my head. 
actually my first time putting it on. So I was just like kind of amazed and shocked. And I was just like, okay, like this blends in really well in the front. Like, okay, except for that wake up. But I will show you guys how to cover that up. So I'm just gonna take my foundation. It can just be whatever foundation that matches your skin. And I'm gonna go in with a sponge and I'm just gonna put that where I would have my part just so that the wig cap be a little bit darker to match my skin tone. And then I'm just gonna put the wig back on and then I was like, okay, okay. It's matching a little bit, it's a little bit still too dark, but I will show y'all how to fix and blend everything. So all I'm doing is just going in with some dark eyeshadow powder and I'm just going to be putting that wherever I see the wig cap. And basically all you do is just build this up until you basically do not see that area anymore. And that pretty much is it. So I just go in with a lighter powder in my part area and then a darker powder um, where I mainly see the wig cap and the hair. So I just basically just keep building it up until I just don't see it anymore. So this is just what it looks like after I finish the whole front of my hair. And then this part is actually when I was jamming because my song was on and yes, I'm using the curling iron as a mic. And I'm actually gonna show you guys how I clean my lace. So this is just the wig when I took it off. And as you guys can see, it just has a ton of gel and hairspray and a lot of just gook on the frontal. And then this is what the inside looked like. So it's pretty much hard to reuse it when it has that much buildup on it. So I like to use this RS dry shampoo. It's like a herbal cleansing shampoo. So I seriously love this because I don't have to technically wet the lace or the wig underneath water. Um, all I do is just put the dry shampoo on the lace front and I do it on the inside and I make sure I tap it in with my finger and I'm just gonna use a sponge. It's just a clean kitchen sponge that I use specifically for my wigs. And I'm just going to push that product in. And then I'm just going to turn it over on a piece of paper towel. And I'm just gonna do the same thing. Just put the dry shampoo on the frontal wig and then press it in with my finger. And basically just use my finger to get any other gunk and makeup and glue and everything out of the wig. And then all I'm going to do is just comb it out and then I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like. It's super duper clean. It has no buildup on it, no residue, no makeup, no anything on the lace. And then pretty much all I do is just let it air dry and then it's good to go. And it's basically like I shampooed and washed and conditioned it and blow dried and straightened it and everything and I did not. So that pretty much just concludes the entire tutorial guys. As always, I love you guys. And I will leave all of the information as far as my wig and where you can get it and everything in the description box as well as the curling wand that I use and the products as far as the ORS and everything in the description box below. And as always, I love you guys and bye.